All right, cool. Well, we've gone over all the settings now, and um, I think we did a good job. The one thing I really want to mention is that um, I want to reiterate from the last video that the Ask My Instructor feature down here, some instructors really like it, some instructors turn it off. Um, Sometimes it'll be taught, it'll be turned off in the generic course that you'll get from your lead faculty, but you definitely want to turn it back on because it's a, well, if you like that kind of thing, it's a really nice feature for students. I personally am not bombarded by students. Um, I get, you know, a question a day or a question every other day or so, but it's just so invaluable to me to be able to see what problem they're working on and be able to give them feedback. But of course it's up to you. Next, let's click on the home page manager. And this is the home page settings, so let's let's do this. Do do do. Click on that. Okay, and now the home page, let me remind you what we're looking at. We're actually talking about setting up hold on. This home page. Haha. That we already learned how to set up in another tutorial somewhere. Okay, so this home page is set up, the settings for it are set up here because what you're really looking at is this is course compass over here on the side and the, and the top but the the main screen you're looking at is actually my math lab um, not course compass so this is where you're at in your my math lab course so do you want to see the calendar right do you want to see upcoming assignments um, do you want the results and where do you want that target line to be here, let me go back and look at the target line see yep, there it is there that target line do you want them to be 80 percent or do you want it to be a 70 percent or what um, their progress graph do you want it to show that do you want them to show the announcements do you want to see the publisher announcements excuse me yes or no right so that's up to you okay so I'm okay with all of this being shown so that's fine so I'm gonna click Save all right then I can create announcements in here which I'm going to do so, for example, I want this first one to show up 826. I want it to be removed 9 15 2010. Welcome to Math 133. Um, this course is also PSY 143 and CIS 205. Thank you for logging in to do homework. Video tutorials are available at http colon slash slash www. Click better put it on its own thing. Click on math one thirty three Nope, click on playlist first. Then select Sorry, I'm making you watch me type. That's probably not that good. Then I'll click save. There we go. Okay, so now let's go back to the course which I have so many windows open here now because of all those help menus that I showed in a different video. So don't mind that if you don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let me go to, and actually, I think I, I made it go fritzy. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. There, I'm back. I was mucking around and for a couple other tutorials and so it kind of changed the settings here. But anyway, so you can see the publisher um, to, announcements are right there and there are my announcements and you know what I don't like the publisher announcements there so I'm gonna go back to the home test manager I'm gonna change my home page settings home page manager excuse me and I'm gonna hide theirs because they're just making things more difficult and I want my to be right on top so let's let me click refresh there we go awesome and let's see if there's any other things. Oh, I can edit this announcement at any point, and I can delete it if I want to change it. And obviously you can see current posting, future postings. You can set up future announcements for yourself, and they'll come out at certain times, right? All right, that's the home page manager. I'll be back here next time for the homework and test manager.